Hey guys, Zenzia D D Y and up today we're gonna watch a movie that I have the DVD to. The Call. Now, I have seen this movie many times. It's one of my favorite thrillers and my one of my favorite movies by Halle Berry. I have it on DVD and Blu-ray. And I've seen all the special features and behind the scenes stuff, which was very interesting to watch. But I'm gonna watch it for spooky season. Now, I want spooky season not only to be movies that I have, but also movies that I have never seen. So, Nope and Black Phone are on the list of thing of movies that are now, and like that are now produced, like you know, horror movies that are in the now you know so nope and black phone are on my list nope because fucking i loved get out and jordan peele was amazing directing that and i want to see more jordan peele stuff so nope is definitely on my list um black phone again <laughs> uh is, is it Ethan Hawking? No, it's um, something Hawking. I can't remember his name, but the guy who played, um, fuck, what was his name? Moon Knight. Uh, the bad guy in Moon Knight. The, the guy who, who, who worshipped the, the alligator goddess person. That guy is in there. So I want to see how he does as another villain. Because how many villains can he play? So we're going to do that. Um, I have some spooky lighting, so I'm gonna turn off the light. I'm gonna have my spooky lighting on, and we're gonna watch The Call. So if I quote some, some things in this movie, just know it's because I have watched this. This is not a first time watching, I have watched this, so yeah. Uh, with that being said, let's get into The Call. I don't know why this was produced by WW. Like, like, why did WWE Studios did produce this? And I didn't know they had, like, a studio company anyway, so... It was a... It's a very good question to ask. That I should know, but I don't. My mom says I would be a good 911 operator, but I would forget literally everything and would not be able to handle the stress that 911 operators have on this job. Because I saw, like, a TV show... Uh, sometime long, long time ago about, like, people who are literally, like, real-life 911 operators, and it was so stressful to just hear the conversations, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this job. I, I clap for any of you who are 911 operators. I praise you. Like, thank you for what you do. What you do is just mind-blowing to me. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Please, I need assistance right away. Nine one one, you shot your wife? Yep, he's lying on the floor. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Code three. Code three. Does he even sound stressful? Okay, and where? In the leg. Is your uncle still there? Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'm sending the police and the paramedics right away, okay? Okay, she's pretty pissed off. Okay, Mom, sure she is. Chris, do you understand what I'm telling you? 911, where's your emergency? I'm trying to break into my house. I'm all alone. Okay, sweetheart, calm down. My parents are out there at a movie. I can't reach them. I, I understand that, sweetheart. Can you get out of the house? No, we can't get out there. It's okay, I've got your information right here. Just hold on, sweetheart. Officers are on their way, sweetheart, okay? What's your name? Leah, Leah Templeton. How old are you, Leah? Oh, God. She broke the window. She's coming in the back. Okay, Leah, listen to me. Find a room and lock yourself in it right now. Okay. I'd be dead because my bedroom don't have no lock. It's very, it's a very flimsy door. Sometimes it opens and closes by itself. That's because of the wind. Leah. I live in an apartment, so I'd be dead. You, Do not disconnect, okay? Leah? Leia. She's running. She was in my room, but, but the, the door won't lock. lock. <laughs> Leia, here's what I need you to do. Is there a window in the room? Yes. Okay. Bedford. 
Don't speak. Stay quiet, okay? Officers are gonna be there any second. I'm okay. I think it worked. I think he's going back downstairs. This Leia? is the biggest mistake of her life, right here. Leia? Don't read the phone's gonna ring. Are you okay? It's okay. I'm fine. You're not fine. Okay, no, he's not. I think he's going back outside. He's not. He's not. I think he's coming back. I think he heard the phone ring. I've seen this movie before, but it still scares me. Okay, listen. Whoever this is, the police are on their way right this second. I suggest you leave that house before you do anything you're going to regret. You shouldn't have redialed. You should not have redialed. Let her call you. What happened out there? The ring gave her away. Just help me and tell me what you were thinking. I wasn't. I, I don't know. I, I just. I wasn't focused. Or what? Okay. I normally am, and I don't know. I, I just wasn't. I just wasn't. I wasn't. Should not have redialed. The ring gave her away. I may have watched this movie a lot, a lot of times, but I still don't understand what he is trying to do. I know it has to do something with his sister and blonde hair, but I'm not 100%. Six months later. I haven't been in a mall in a long time. There was just one mall near us that had a Build-A-Bear, and I love that place, but the, the bear is going out of business near where I live, so... Did you see him? The guy in the glasses? Yeah. I, I I didn't notice him in my first two f first time watches, but like once I saw him in the third one, then I saw him and I was like, he's looking at a poster about a girl with blonde hair and he's stalking a girl with blonde hair. Connecting the dots. This would be very scary just to be knocked out and then waking up inside of a trunk car. I think because this actually happened, like this is I think based on a true event. I don't think to this extent, but there was like girls or women getting kidnapped in trunks, moved from one place to another. So now all cars, I can't remember from what year, has this like pulling lever so if you get stuck inside the car you pull that the car trunk lifts and you can just jump out but yeah super duper
He might be a bad guy, but he has a bad guy with taste. 911, where's your emergency? I'll take you to the office and I'm gonna fill out some paperwork. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Slow down, slow down. Where are you? Okay, where... I can't understand you. What, what mall? What mall? What mall are you at? Okay, whoa. No, where did where did he hit you? He didn't hit me. Almost hit me. And then I Okay, where my where truck. is the vehicle? I don't know where the vehicle is. I'm in the trunk. I'm like in the trunk. Jordan, there's no location. It's a disposable no chip. Ask her her name. What what is your name? What is your name? Casey. Casey. <laughs> okay, Casey, <laughs> calm down, okay? I can't. Why can't you just trace it? We're, we're gonna try. Um, you're on a disposable phone, so it might take us a little while. What? Don't you say that. Don't say that. Um, I just need to say you can't find me. No, no, you have to find me. Um, 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 please, I don't. I don't. Jordan, I don't know what to do. She's freaking out. What do I say to her? Jordan. I'm here to help you, Casey, okay? I know, but I'm here now. I'm gonna help you, honey, okay? Casey. Casey, you have to stay calm. You have you're Casey, not... you're not gonna die. Casey, shut the fuck up! You are not helping her. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can promise you this, sweetheart, okay? You've got the best team of people in this whole city working to find you. But in order for us to help you, I need you to help me. Now, can you do that, sweetheart? Can you do that? Okay. Okay. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Now, Casey, first thing I need you to do is look inside that trunk and see if you can find a relief. Usually it glows in the dark. Do you see that? No, no, it doesn't even have one of those. It's not okay. One, right? okay, it's okay. That just sweetheart. means it's an old what mall. What mall were you at when you were abducted? Fashion Plaza. Fashion Plaza. Okay. Oh, I found the one that's downtown, right? <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Calm down. What's your last name? Wilson. Wilson, okay. Oh my God. Okay, I see that. I got all your information right here in front of me, okay? Yeah, right now. Oh, look, you're a Capricorn. <laughs> Me too. You know what that means, honey? What? We're fighters. That means we were born to fight. Mm -hmm. So you know what I want you to do? I want you to fight, okay? Can you fight for me, Casey? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good girl. Okay, Casey, can you describe the man who grabbed you? Was he black, white, He's Asian, white, Hispanic? White, white, okay. I think, yeah, and, and dress normal. Okay, what does normal mean? Do you have on a hat? I don't Jeans. Sunglasses, sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses. Okay. Can you guess his age, Casey? 20s, 30s, 40s? 30s, I think. Like, like mid, mid, mid 30s. 30s. 30s, okay, good girl. Okay, great. Honey, what color is the car? I think it was like red. Red, maroon. Maroon, maroon. Okay, do you have two doors or four? Four. Four. Four, four. okay. It's like a hey, Nissan. Man, great. Okay, Casey? Can you tell if you're on a freeway or if you're on surface street? Oh, no. What? No, no, I'm going to Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Fuck Raul! Casey, stay on the line. Casey, I can't lose you, honey. Stay on the line. What's happening? Can you tell me if those wheels are going fast or are they going slow? It's like, it's like Does it even. sound like you're on a freeway, honey, or do you think you're on surface street? You might be on a freeway. Okay, okay, good girl, good girl. Yep, Toyota, Toyota Camry. Does the trunk smell like it's a new trunk or an old one? It kind of smells like old. Okay, good. Yeah, there's like work stuff. Okay, honey. Thank you. Can you see the tail lights? What? Because in older cars, there may be access to the tail lights. Look for the red glow, okay, sweetheart? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Great. I found it. Sweetheart, yeah, yeah. is there any way you can kick that light out? Break it out. Can you do 
that? No, no, he's gonna hear Jordan. He's gonna no, hear. honey, Sorry. we gotta no, try, sweetie. honey. We gotta try We're to get you try. out of here. Okay. okay. Come on, sweetheart, you can do it. Okay. Casey, okay. how you doing, sweetheart? I'm not coming out. Casey, try the other light. Try the other one. Okay. Even how he's acting is weird. <laughs> I saw the broken light and the paint, and I, I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of weird, you know? Yeah, and you didn't uh -huh. think of calling the police when you yeah. saw it? Real mess don't back confront here. the guy! Real mess back here. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, thanks for alerting me. Yeah, thanks, yeah, Lincoln. Yeah, sure, no worries. Man. All right, man. All right. Yeah, you too, you too, you too. And now he calls the police. Now you call the police. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. I want more. Jesus. <laughs> Describe that car you're in, okay? Um, it's black, um... Okay. Black. Now, what about the taillights in this car? Can you kick them out? No. There's, like, this metal frame over the... <laughs> oh, you guys! Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I even know he's not dead, and I jumped. No. 
Sweetheart, it's okay. It's okay, just stay calm. We need to breathe, Casey, okay? There's a lot of people here counting on you, honey, okay? Help us figure this out. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, okay, sweetheart? Don't blame yourself. Listen to me. Sometimes we all get ourselves in situations that sometimes get out of our control, okay? And bad things can happen. But it doesn't mean that that's your fault, okay? Now what I need you to do is go in that man's pockets and get his wallet. No, no. I need you to get his wallet and tell me what his name is, Casey. I need to know who that man is. In order for me to find you, I have to know who this man is. I need to know his name. As fast as you can, sweetheart. As fast as you can. Come on, honey, do it. You can do it. Things I want to know now. Good girl. You are a rock star, Casey. Good girl. I'm sorry, Mr. Donato. All units, kidnap in progress. Thirty and lighted. I'll bump it myself. Sure. We're at a gas station. Can you hear anybody, Casey? No, no. There's just, there's just. Okay. Okay. Ahead, you don't you don't listen to music take while you pump story. gas, Jordan? Uh, Come right. on. Sure won't take long. Remember when gas used to be cheap? Remember that? You know, I know about pumping gas because I pump my mom's car with gas and I don't even drive. She just says Maddie put like twenty or thirty dollars in it when it used to be two to three dollars. Even four dollars was the max. And now it's five to six dollars. So now we only put like twenty to ten. Ten to twenty. And that's for like half or like a quarter of the gallon. Not the full gallon. Because my mom is like the the half empty type of filler, you know? And it's half empty, you go to the gas station and fill it back up to half point. Or as much as you can. Sometimes it's over half. But usually it's like, now it's usually in that half point, sorry. This guy, no conviction except for... Arson in 95. I wonder what he had to set on fire. Got him. He's 36. In a nice neighborhood, family. How many do you need here this morning? Phillips. Phillips. What the hell is this about? Ma'am? You're not going to want to hear this in front of your kids. This is Foster's office. Check it out. Thought that girl kind of looked like our PR. Kind of does, doesn't it? Especially that one. He must be from Alabama. <laughs> My sister. Hour and twenty eight minutes. Shh. Casey. Shut up. 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 Sh
Michael. The police know who you are, Michael Foster. They're at your house right now with your family. Who is this? This is 911 emergency services. And we've got your prince at the scene of a murder. The only choice you have now is to turn yourself in. No, please! Michael, listen to me. Do not hurt that little girl. Do not hurt that little girl. Let her go. You don't have to do this. It's already done. It's the same guy. It's already done. It's already done. Michael Foster is the same man that killed Leia Templeton. Jordan? It's the same man. Same guy. Jordan. It's the same, same guy. Man. Same guy. We got an old registration for Melinda Foster. Old registration. Melinda. Deceased. Address 1765 Oak Creek Lane in the Santa Clarita Hills. Supervisor of Friend Business says he left before noon. Air M16, contact the Valley Watch Commander. We're gonna need some backup units and get me an airship. Roger on that, it's on the way. Go to TAC 41, please. Yeah, Roger, TAC 41. Paul? Yeah. Foster, that's the same guy that killed Leah Templeton. Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Be careful. The problem is, he's not in the cottage. <laughs> It's empty. No sign of Foster or the girl or the Lincoln. This place is a dead end. Now either he figured out we were on to him and he never showed, or uh, he's taking us somewhere else. I know. I said his name, scared him off. No, that's not true. He found the cell, and he would have disconnected. He was on his way there, Maddie. The trace confirmed it. No, that's not what happened. Yeah. No, it isn't. We had a trace going, and you did every single thing exactly the way you were supposed to do it. And now I want you to go home. Oh, I'm not going home. This is you are home. going home. You want closure. You're not going to get it. You did your part. Now you let them do their part. She's no longer your responsibility. So I want you to go home, and I want you to take care of yourself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Go, 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 go. There you go. Go, 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 You hear it? That's a clue. Sounds like a metal getting hit by a pole from a flagpole. I know because I have a school that has a metal pole and used to hang a flag on it. So far. You want to go check it out? See if we can find her? Let's go. He was definitely renovating it. Bunch of hospital pills and ventilators, old gloves, which is disgusting. Lots of cheerleading trophies. That's his sister. Who looks a lot like Casey. My guess, his sister got cancer and died. She got really sick.
And he really must be from Alabama because he loved his sister so much that he kissed her on the mouth. So my guess, either he's trying to make, in, you know, one of those body pillows, but like a real life body pillow of his sister, which is sick, or trying to make his sister come back alive somehow. And remember that clinging of the fire of the of the flagpole? You hear that clinging in the background? He must have been somewhere around here for that call. Holding up the American flag. Up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder, go, 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 up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder. Kick, 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 Jordan, kick, Jordan, kick, 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 there you go. There you go. Kick him in the face, 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 kick him in the face. There you go. Now, call the police. I love this movie. And that was the call. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry to my Patreons for, of it stopping midway. My tablet is very sensitive. And if I even touch a little bit up of a swiping motion, it pauses the movie and I can't do anything about it. So I'm sorry if the time thing doesn't quite line up. But, you know, I try my best. But I just love this movie. It's a really good thriller. I implore you to watch this along with me in Patreon because this this is a movie you have to see. It's 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 a really good movie. Um Yeah, it's just really good. Again, I don't know what Michael was gonna do with her hair of the sculpt area. Like like just that I just, just, I don't know what he was going to do, but whatever he was going to do, he's not going to do it anymore. Because as we saw in that fridge, he's, he's been doing this for a while now. I don't know if it's a fetish, I don't know if it's some type of mental illness, I really don't know. Even looking in the bloopers, it doesn't tell you. I just, it's a really good movie and I implore everyone to watch this. It's just amazing. Hailey Bailey did amazing in this movie. Amazing. But I know she's always amazing, so can't blame her. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the Patreon for this movie. I implore you to do so. And I implore you just to watch the movie in general. It's a really good thriller. And I'm happy I'm doing it in spooky speech season. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been MTA VDY. I just love this movie so much.